Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So today I'm going to go through my IGCSE 0607 International Maths Predictions for May 2024. However, if you're doing the 0580 course, then do check out the video above because I've already made predictions for that particular paper. Now, if we take from last year's predictions from 2023, you can see it was very, very popular. You can see all the comments here. We actually got the, exactly the same question as I mentioned in the prediction video hopefully we'll have that luck this year as well and again all those topics I mentioned about thirds and manipulation algebra they all came up in the exam now I've gone through the last 17 papers so I'm making sure these are really up to date so you've got all the information you need to succeed on the paper too so first of all, we have indices. So there's no change here at 71%. So still a very often topic. This is a typical example question where we have to square root four and then cube it to get our answer of eight. This is usually a one or two mark question that we need to be getting on the paper too. Then on to logarithms, which is up actually at 65%, came up a lot in the recent papers, and they can twist this around quite a bit. This is a typical example question on the paper too, where you need to realize without the base mentioned, we actually have a base of 10. That will help you work out that kind of question. On to thirds, so rationalizing the denominator, as always, is one of the most important topics, particularly for those A and A star students. Again, no change at 71%. Again, this is not a surprise. Thirds come up very, very often. We have number skills slightly down here at 82%. Again, this can vary the kind of question, usually at the start of the paper. So you can see here a question three on paper two, which has the list of numbers writing down primes and cubes. So making sure you know those definition of numbers is very important as well. On to probability, perhaps the most important topic across both paper two and paper four. Paper two, as you can see here, at 100%, so it is almost certain to appear. This is a very typical question here. We'd ask you to work out some probabilities. Also, and this is worth mentioning, I mentioned this in my video last year, relative frequency, that's a really important word. If you don't know what that word means, then do check out the video above where I go through everything you need to know probability-wise in about 45 50 minutes and you can see the precise percentages over the last 17 papers for paper two on how often they appear now notice i did not mention things like coordinate geometry and statistics and algebraic fractions again those topics come up 50 percent of the time so once you've worked through the topics i've already talked about then you do need to work on those often topics as well ready for paper two there is crossover however with paper four which i'm going to talk about now and the volume surface area 3d shapes comes in at 82 percent no change here again still almost certain in this particular example question i've given you this time we have a pyramid where you need to work out various different angles and lengths in it. On to quadratics, no change at 76%. These questions can vary quite a lot. This is a nice example question here where we have a worded question that then leads to a quadratic. And even if we don't get all four marks on this question, we still have our quadratics knowledge so we can still solve it using the quadratic formula or factorization. On to functions, also 76%, no change here as well. If it does come up, it does come up in a big way. So even though it's three quarters of the time, you need to make sure you revise this because this will be a ton of marks on your paper four if it does come up. On to the sine and cosine rule, which has always been a pretty often topic, but it's up here at 88%, so much more important than it has been particularly in the last couple of years. You can see this is a very typical kind of question where you have bearings, you have sides that you need to work out using the sine rule, using that cosine rule effectively. So alongside probability, this is one of the key topics you really need to know. On to transformations, also up, there was a little dip a couple of years ago, but it's back, it's still appearing on the papers. Here we have question three. If you need to revise all things of transformations, then do check out the video above, because I go through everything you need to know, your reflections, your enlargement, your translations, and also your rotations as well. Statistics has always been a huge topic, slightly down at 135%, but it comes up a lot. Now, I said in my previous video, 
cumulative frequency is the topic to revise within this particular subtopic. Unfortunately, for the people that did 4.1, it didn't come up exactly as that, but for the other papers it did. But it's a very, very important topic alongside working the estimate for a mean. Notice this is out of two marks, so you should be using your graphical uh, calculator to work this out, not do it manually. And on the probability, also 100% on paper four, so no change here. Of course, the questions are slightly different structured. These are these long extended questions that can take quite a lot of time to get your head around, so make sure you're reading these questions really, really carefully. On to percentage calculations, usually towards the start of the paper, sometimes the very first question, like you see in front of you, but usually question one, two, three, four, it's usually at the beginning. Again, knowing your compound interest formula is really important. Working backwards through the formula is also now become more and more often on this paper. So these are marks you can get in the bag, but you do need to revise them carefully. And of course, the 0607 paper would obviously have GD skills in there as well. Slightly down at 118%, but still very, very important. Again, you need to know how to sketch your functions. You need to know how to use those functions and working out zeros, intersection points. And also at the top end of this particular subtopic, the inequality questions, working out a range of answers within your particular domain. That is also very important. And you can see the frequencies in which these topics appear. Again, just like I mentioned in the paper two section, once you've covered those often some, and also almost certain and certain topics, you need those less often topics. So things like algebraic fractions at 70% is important to consider. Area of 2D shapes is also important. Uh, coordinate geometry as well. So making sure you're working through those certain topics almost certain topics, and then often topics afterwards. Um, you can also see the other part of my spreadsheet here. Again, don't forget circle theorems. We haven't really mentioned that in this video, but it's pretty likely to come up on either paper two or paper four. So the two videos you should check out next are the following. So the very first video you should really make sure you look at is all of IGCSE 0607 maths. That's really important to get a good overall look at the particular course for both paper two and paper four. However, and I have not mentioned it in this video, please do look at my paper six playlist. I've got tons of paper six content. This is often forgotten about by IGCAC 0607 students. And the best way that you can learn how to attempt a paper six is by working your way through the playlist and making sure you're familiar with those kinds of questions.